Please welcome, from the University of South Florida, the Packers 2015 Walter Payton Man of the Year, linebacker Sam Barrington. We all win in Chicago, and it's still a G thing. I hear y'all up here, baby. With the 88th pick in the 2016 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select, and you're going to like this one. Linebacker, Utah State, Kyle Fackrell. Yeah. Cheeseheads are happy with the selection of Kyler Fackrell. We have back-to-back -back linebacker picks from Utah State. Why do you act surprised? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fackrell, really, the height, weight, speed, and then pass rush ability. He's long, looks the part. I think he's got some interesting tools to develop when you look at him, Bell. There's a lot of talk about him maybe as a second round pick that he was going to have huge workout numbers, had some durability issues in his career, bounced back. I didn't think he played it the same urgency maybe in the past year as he did at times earlier in his career, but there's a lot of tools as a pass rusher. You see there, he also has enough ability to drop into coverage. Versatile outside linebacker tight. You think about that game, we watched the Tennessee game two years ago. As far as the season, they goes down with the knee injury. Just a shame to see that happen. He comes back. He played pretty well considering he had that year off coming back from the significant knee injury. Doesn't have the top first, but he was productive. He's smooth in his back pedal. He can get into coverage, in the zone, and do the job. There it is, Moose getting here for the quarterback. I think this kid has a chance to be an effective starting linebacker for the NFL. I don't have a problem with a stick where they got it. The Green Bay Packers did. He and Vigil were two solidified players for that defense. They were the cornerstone of that defense for Utah State. And Packers now will be two years removed from that knee injury. All right, so we'll see how it shakes up with the Green Bay Packers defense, offense, and us.